data file so that I can explain um, Eclipse Eclipse oh, confused here sometimes yeah we have over here data okay this is one line of how bricks so we want to be able to count the number of characters inside this area here if we are able to count the number of character multiply by the size of each brick that will make up the, l the width of our labyrinth and then we want to count the number of lines inside the, the, the inside the lines bricks which is the irreal this irreal list we call bricks so if we are able to count the number of lines here then the number of line multiplied by brick size will make up the, l the height of our labyrinth. So in order to do that, I first check if there is any lines inside our brick. But for the width, I will say bricks that get the first line and then to character array dot length now we have the number of character inside then we multiply by break size and then height is equal to bricks dot size multiplied by brick size and then we say this dot set size now <laughs> width and height now when we run this course I'm resetting the size down here so when we run it this is how what we got so but we're gonna be needing some tweaking over here around the size to be able to adjust it but that's absolutely okay for now now the problem is now to draw on when we finish this of course we need to set the brick The next thing is to be able to create the graphic object. The graphic object is going to be J. But this graphic object is not that really it's useful but it doesn't have some advanced features such as the graphic 2D object which I'm going to call it painter. Painter will be equal to we need to add a cast a J dot create the j.create method will return another graphic of this object in order to we need to cast to obtain the graphic 2d now that we have the graphic 2d we need to look through all our lines so for each strings line inside this that bricks we need to set painter dot set rendering hints the center the set rendering hint will set some qualities on the graphic so we have rendering hints dot key i'm just going to set quality because we are not doing any text rendering here so i'm just I'm not going to set anti-aliasing and so on. So we have rendering hints that value quality. Yeah. Once that's done, we want to be able to fill 
empty area of what we want of white first so we're gonna say painter that set color color dot white and then we're gonna fill no big difference it seems but for me that should be white so after we have set this one we need we want to be able to set the line color so I'm going to say color line equal color the color gray a bit brighter and then another color for the fill which is going to be color the blue now that we have this color I do have okay I'm gonna call this wall so for each wall we want to be able to run out on through all of it and then extract and then we go up here we declare the X which is 0 and the Y which is 0 once we have this over here we want to be able to set to know if we are about to draw a blue or we are about to draw a blank so in order to know, to know that we need to check what the character is C equal sharp we want to be able to draw blue so we will say set painter that set color fill and then painter dot fill rectangle the x the y and then just get brick size and then brick size the next thing is if this is not the case we want to be able to say painter dot set color line and then painter dot draw rectangle x equals 0 and the x plus equal brick size because we need to increment on the x axis and then over here the y is going to increment as well this size so let's test that out nothing and sorry it is paints that we need yeah it is the paints we need not the paint component because we are not overriding a component we are not subclassing a component yeah now you get this but the problem we have here is there is gaps and these gaps are because 
how files contain spaces like here here and here so this is not compact what I'm going to do is to do a bit of replacement using this to this and then say replace all having a much more compact one then we are going to test yeah now we get our map but you will be asking yeah on the demo I do have it here well if there are many options if you wish to have this one you could use a component draw inside the component and then set that component inside this frame as we are using border layout most probably and center it or use box layout and center it in my case this is how I solve this adding to the width three times the brick size this makes the window a bit bigger and then over here rather than starting at zero I would say brick size plus 20 and over here rather than starting any time at on the left side at zero I will say brick size plus 10 and then let's test it out as you can see with that those numbers I didn't just came up with it magically that was a bit of tries and errors but because this is tutorial so I couldn't take the time to just try numbers and so we just use what has been done already but as you can see this is the end result So that's pretty much it. This is what we want to achieve. I hope you have a bit of idea and you could be able to use this technique in a mobile phone game or other type of video game in order to be able to build a level on your applications. Alright, that's it for this small tutorial. If you did like it, so please go on to evansoft.com and to give us some like on our f Facebook page that may give us some more encouragement in order to bring you more tutorial over the time thanks for watching